Yo, <laughs> this is your boy FG Travel, and I'm back for another video. Okay, now today I wanna I wanna just tell you something about about us here in Zambia. Okay, if you got, for example, a big note of money, like a hundred kwacha, a fifty kwacha, and you want to break it up into smaller notes. Okay, in other countries, you could just go to any store shop or anyone who's a trader and they can help you okay but over here you cannot do that you see what i'm saying because what's gonna happen is that they're gonna start suspecting you of um, <laughs> they're gonna start suspecting you of witchcraft you see what i'm saying what has been happening is that when people have um a big knot, okay, like uh, 50,000. I mean, sorry, 50 quacha or a uh, 100 quacha, okay. They use that, yes. No, 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 this is not about politics. This boy thinks I'm talking about politics. How are you? Fine, and how are you? Okay, this is a YouTube video. Oh. Yes, it's a travel video, travel and entertainment. Yes, sir. <laughs> ah. All right. <laughs> you know, it's interesting when people see someone filming, okay? They think that you are filming something to do with politics. You know? Zambians are very political conscious, okay? So you find that each time you want to film anything, it's always associated to politics you see what i'm saying yeah so where was i at what i'm saying is if you've got a big knot and you want to bring it up into small knots it's quite hard right here in zambia because most people who you would ask for help okay for assistance to break that knot up what they're gonna do is they're just gonna they're just gonna say no they cannot help you even if they can help you you see what i'm saying the reason why they would say no they cannot help you it's because they believe that if they collect your note, okay, you are going to take away all the money that they've made for the day. It's been very, very common over here in Zambia for people to ask for assistance. They want their note to be broken down. You see what I'm saying? And then once they help that person who wants the note to be broken down, they just find all their day's takings has disappeared. How it disappears, I don't know. It's witchcraft. You see what I'm saying? So now I want to prove it to you guys. I'm gonna go to an anonymous place. All right? Can you see that place over there? Over there, where there are those two small uh, phone boxes. I'm gonna go there. I'm, I'm gonna ask for change. See if they're gonna give me. Okay. I'm gonna ask them to break a hundred, a hundred quite a knot. Then let's see if they're gonna they're gonna assist me. Okay. Okay. So yo, I'm gonna ask for help over there. Okay. Madam, can you help me exchange? Okay, please. So she's one of the few people who can actually help. Okay? So I'm making a YouTube video. <laughs> you can say hello to YouTube. You can say hello to YouTube. You can say hello to YouTube. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Now here, she is one of the few people who can actually give change. She's actually broken my hundred quacha into two fifties. Okay. Hi. Say hello to Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube channel. <laughs> my name is Rachel. <laughs> okay. Her name is Rachel. Okay, and she's operating a mobile money stand. Okay. So let me just ask her a question. Rachel, is it true that when some people come asking for change? They give you money, you break it up, and you find all oh, these takings have disappeared. Uh, yeah, sometimes it is true, mm -hmm. but it depends. If maybe the person you don't know them, okay, uh, maybe where they're coming from you don't know. Okay. But mostly we give change to people that we know uh, and people that we've seen before. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you've heard it for yourself. If they don't know you, they're not gonna give you change, okay? <laughs> because you could be one of the people who want their days takings to exactly. disappear. Okay, all right. I, I appreciate it. 
You should check out Tambo Travel and leave a comment. Tambo eh? Travel? Yes. Okay, you should say. Ah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank but you. leave a comment. Okay, cheers. <laughs> Okay guys, let me just ask my brothers over here. Okay, uh, what is your name? Imano Amitani. Okay, his name is Imano. Yeah. And your name? Cheston sir. Okay, this is uh, Cheston, okay? So now I want to ask him whether it is true that when somebody comes asking for change, if they change that money, then all their day's takings will disappear. How true is that? Have you ever heard of such a situation? Ah. Uh... Mm. You have heard of that? Uh uh, no. No. What about what no English, the language in Nyanja. <laughs> oh, okay, they are saying I should speak in Nyanja. Okay, okay. Uh, so, that means I have to change. Change our hand with Kwacha. At the moment, I have to change. 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 Sure. You haven't heard of anywhere where someone am very cool concert. I mean, if you have too much stick, a body, body, too much, too much stick, a very just too much stick. I say sometimes. Okay. Eh. Okay. Okay. But when I go, you must disappear. But when I go, you must disappear. Okay. So he's saying that it happens, but it doesn't happen all the time. So there are just certain situations where you help someone, you change their money, and you find all your money has gone, it has disappeared. Okay. Okay guys, so um, yesterday I did ask uh, three people uh, how safe it was to change someone's money. I mean, three traders, okay? So today I wanna ask some more, okay? Because I wanna really like get to a good understanding of how safe it is for anyone to help someone you know, when they want their money broken down. Okay? So I'm just gonna ask over here. How are you, my friend? Uh, I'm looking for change. Okay. Um, you know, I'm making a YouTube video and I just want to know, like, for example, if somebody comes here looking for change, do you normally experience a situation whereby when you change their money, you find all your money has disappeared? Yeah. Yes, several times it happens most of the time. It happens? Yes. Oh, so somebody just comes, give you a hundred kwacha, you change him? Sometimes it disappears, it goes. Sure? Yes. Mm. So it's not safe to change people's money? Eh? Yes. Okay, okay. Okay, my name is Tambo Travel. If you go on YouTube, you're going to find Tambo Travel. I post videos about Zambo. Yeah, I appreciate it. Well, who can change me here? Who do you trust? That's side. That's side they can change that side. Yes. If they don't know me, they won't change me. <laughs> okay, let me try. Alright. So I'll try uh, at another stand. Just to, to see. Okay. My brother, can you change my man? <laughs> my brother, I'm making a YouTube video. I want, I want to find out something here. Is it true that when you change somebody's money, you find where your money is gone? Sometimes. Sure. Sometimes. So it's not safe to change somebody's money. No, well, it is safe, but 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 we we must use a, a lot of change. So once we change, you won't have change. So that's why we don't get change. Okay, okay. I appreciate. My name is Tambo Travel. If you check Tambo Travel, I post videos about Zambia. Yeah. Thank you very much. Just check on YouTube. Oh, okay, thank you. So he's told me that uh, he cannot help me, okay? Now, uh, he's given me a good reason. He says that because he will need the small change as well. But basically, here in Zambia, if you got a big knot and you want to break it down into a smaller knot, you are going to have a very difficult time, okay? So I'll try one more place, okay? Just so that you have proof of concept that what I'm talking about is true, okay? okay. How are you, madam? I, I want some change for your handle. Okay. Uh, madam, I'm making a video for YouTube and I want to just know uh, why it's so difficult to find change here in Zambia. Is it because 
when you change somebody money, you find all your money has disappeared. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? It's very difficult. You can move, nobody will change you. <laughs> no, it's true. They are facts because. Or some people are not. Because some people, uh -huh. the way they, the, when you give them change, yes. your money will get lost. Ah, <laughs> that's very, very bad. Eh? Yeah. So it's difficult to trust anybody. Yeah, it's very difficult. So as in, for me, I don't change. I don't give people change. Oh, you, you don't give people change? No, I don't. No matter how much nice they are dressed or no. how nice their car is, you won't no. give them change? No, I don't. <laughs> okay, YouTube, so you've heard for yourselves. When you're in Zambia, nobody will give you change because they don't know you. You could be one of the people who make their money disappear. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. My name is Tambo Traveler. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel okay. on YouTube. Yeah. Thank you. Right. <laughs> okay, guys. So, those are the facts. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I made it up. You've heard from people. Okay? They've said it themselves. You cannot be trusted in Zambia. When you're looking for change, chances are you are a Satanist. Okay? No. You could... Uh, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> okay. You could be one of those people. You could be one of those people who, after you've been helped, okay, then you make their money disappear and you take their money. It's very common here in Zambia. Okay? Okay, so if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you get informed each time I upload a new video. Okay? This is Tambo Travel. I'm out of here. Peace.